everyone, I'm Sudipa Negri Reeves and this is Miss Kevin and this is my little sister. Hello everyone, my name is Lai Pala. I'm studying in Pastara in SNS Academy. Welcome to another video of my channel, Code University. Today we're going to make an interesting gaming app known as the Ping Pong Gaming App. Today we're going to see how the app works and its deciding part. Let's quickly see how the app works. This is my Ping Pong app. Here you find 9 levels of game and here there are 2 options here which is the setting and here you can exit the game app if you want. Let's give no for now. Here you can off the music and the clicking sound. Here let's start with the first level. The target is 40 coins. Let's give start. Let's drag to start the game. Oh no, if you uh, if the ball goes out, you lose. So you can either give uh, next or restart. I'm going to give restart by clicking the game on again. Let's reach 40 points. So now we have reached 37. If you give 40 points, you can go to the next and the next level. Here you can give it next if you want. So as you see, they are star ratings too. If you finish it fully, uh, you will get 5 stars. And if you finish it like 37, 40, you will get the stars accordingly. And here you can go on with other levels. Here you can also collect the free coins which when you arrive the game at first. So as you see, the coins increased. Let's quickly see the designing part. Let's quickly see the designing part of the ping pong application. Uh, the first thing you will be doing is go and search in your Google Chrome or Firefox or any tab. You're just going to be searching quadlu.io uh, and uh, go to the quadlu, sign in with it with Google or an account. And you can either give create a project or import a project. So I'll be providing the AI file here. And this new feature in quadlu for you actually um, to create the UI design. So I've did with uh, through that. And there are many websites for creating the UI design too. Let me quickly show the project. Now I'm in. So first, let's see the designing part. Uh, so yeah, uh, the first thing you're going to be doing for the screen one is uh, to create a splash screen. Um, uh, the first, as you see, when I open my app, there's a slash string known as the ping pong. So you're first gonna be doing the slash string. I have, uh, so I'll be giving you the AI file uh, together for the UI, uh, UI and also the programming uh, in my second video. So uh, the splash string here, for this, you just need a splash icon. Uh, you can um, choose, uh, which is the ping pong game and the image here. Uh, you can even add a label. So after this, uh, I've added an image four, which is known as ping pong. You can also add a label and the clock. For this much time, the the uh, the flash screen should be present. So yeah. So there's three screens here: screen one, screen two, and screen three. So the screen three, I'll not be showing. Uh, it's like uh, the screen three. I'll be telling what to do. You're going to be doing uh, the alternatives like extra app features and those kinds. And I'll also be telling the main components which you're going to be using and which you should use in the screen three. But I'll not be showing the screen three uh, either in the designing or the programming part. But you're going to be making that. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's go to the screen two. So, this is the main player's game. Uh, so in this player's game, as you see, let me 
Uh, so yeah, so first thing is you're gonna name your screen. Uh, and after you name your screen, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be giving it as the game pass screen. So I, what I've given is game pass screen, which is where uh, the whole game will be passed and then we'll be started, right? After drawing name. Uh, so that, and this is the layout, the pass label. So these things will be, which I've given it later. So it's like um, the main screen where you see give, when you give start and those things. And here is a pass label. Yeah, the result screen. The result screen is where if you got, you know, uh, if you got 40%, a 40 score, and if you got the 40 fully, you get a result screen that three stars, you won. Um, you can go to the next level or restart. So something like that is the result screen, the spacer. Uh, so these things is visible, but because, um, because this layout, it is hiding that. Um, yeah. So we have been seeing, yeah. So here you see the cell screen for the cell layout. Space to space it. The image 40. Uh, so I'll be showing the assist at the end of the video. So this is a horizontal arrangement for the whole part of the screen. So the images. So here the images is the ball, the slider, the the pass button, those all are images. The side corners, those all are images. You can search UI design and search to Google and do it. So yeah, um, we have uh, labels for coins and for things like that. And so you may think what all this is. You uh, This all is that uh, star when you, uh, there are levels, right? First level, second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, sixth level. That when we give start, we give, uh, you know, play and boosting. It's according to that. So it's not visible here because uh, it's on over and on over it. So, but I'll be telling you uh, the next image when we give, uh, there'll be a small pop up, right? You will give, you may give the next image. So that's the thing. And so this is not the first, the first level thing. There'll be one screen which pops up uh, after you play or before you play. There'll be a screen, small screen pop up. So that is this. Uh, so the game over layout. So here uh, is a spacer. This is all the UI design. And this is the label 17 which is for, uh, you know, the labeling the this much score points for this much. The overall score and label 14 and this thing, as you see the coins is the text here. We should just give the text as the coins. As you see here is the game over text. And this is the horizontal arrangement for that particular box. And then the replay image. As you see in the pop-up uh, after you play and if you lose, there'll be something called a replay image and you see something called next stuff. So this is the replay image and this is the image uh, 38. So this, I've added images to space. So I've added image to space. You can add even um, labels. You can add anything, empty thing to space it and even a spacer. So this is the next image, which is the next. Uh, so yeah, so here is the countdown screen. So what is the countdown screen, you see? Uh, so the countdown screen is where, uh, when I give that, uh, if suppose level one, I give the level one, there is few moments where we can't move the screen. So that's the countdown screen here. And the countdown screen also includes where we it's it's passed till it we actually drag down the thing, right? So that also mentions that. So next, here is the countdown layout, and we have the label 13, which is the left. So if you if I want to show you, I can make this invisible uh, or horizontal arrangement invisible. So as you see here, you see the stage one level two, just for me, 
uh, for a quota to be comfortable with, you can actually give the stage one, level one, which is not ex exactly needed, but you can. So we are, uh, and now after you give the countdown layout and everything is a play screen, which is this screen. So here you have the horizontal arrangement on top. You see the pass button, the pass image. This is the spacer, which is dividing this and this. And here you see the coins, which is also in the horizontal image and these two are labels. And here is our, um, uh, the canvas. Now, this is a, a small image, which is the ball. You can also tell it as, you know, the graph. Uh, so this are the two, uh, this is the ball image and this is the ball bar, which is these. So for now it is in a horizontal arrangement. Yeah, so here is the horizontal arrangement of the site, as you see. So these three things are only for the sites. And yeah, this is spacer, the stage label, the level label, stage label, level label is yeah. I, I told you for just for reference, this this is this, uh, you know level one. You can do the same thing for the other things in the coding, but you can change the level one to level two, level three, level four in the coding, which I'll be teaching you or I'll be telling you on my next video. So here is the points. So this is all the tiny DB for you to store the thing. As you see, if I give um, this app, if I close and again give, it does, the score doesn't vanish. The score remains the same. And also as I, if I do the score increases and maintains it, it doesn't go to zero back. So we need tiny DB for that to store it. Stage, and you may see an ad free option right here. So it's just, it is actually not ad free. It's just uh, a simple just to donate some app application, which is mentioned in UI design. And this is the click sound. As you see in the setting, there'll be some click sound and music. It's according to that. The layout dialog, dialogues. It's all available in the designing part itself. The play level, the levels. And here you see is the star two, star three, star four, star five. So what are these stars for and why it is used in TinyDB? It is used in TinyDB to stay or save. As you see, when we exit the application, most of the application doesn't remind the score. But if you want the score to remind, you're going to be choosing the TinyDB. So I've given stars and the sound and the music. So it's the music. As you see, there are many music you see. One for the application itself, there's a music around for the clicking and even for in the game screen, you see a few sounds and there are many sounds here. And here is the game sound. Collide sound, which when the ball collides with an, any other object, that's the sound. Game over sound, if you lose or if you win, that's the sound. And this is the sound four for the result. So yeah. So this is the screen uh, two. And as I said, screen three is bad. You are gonna do something very important. So it's just the ending screen, which is, as you see the, in the main screen, when you open the thing, there's something called um, a level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, level seven, level eight, level nine. You can add how much of a level you want. Here I've given the whole application, but you're going to be doing uh, the main screen, which is nothing, but you're going to be just doing, in a, you can create buttons where you can name it as the stage one, stage two, stage three, and just connect it. I, in the coding, I'll also be telling you how to do it. Uh, so you're just going to be designing the thing and just tell whatever I do, because it will be a practice for you to actually do this design part too. So yeah. So I be disabling in three because you're going to be doing like your own you can add a new screen and do uh, those things uh, and yeah i'll also be providing the aia file for you because it's a little bit complicated so i'll be providing the aia file of the app and yeah 
that's it. The program uh, designing part is done. Let's see in the next video where we can uh, do the programming part. Please wait for my next video for the programming part of the app. I hope you like the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment to my video and subscribe my channel. Let's see you in the next video. Till then, bye. -bye.